Hey what's up guys it's Boost HD here and today we're going to be taking a look at the legacy of Flappy Bird. So I'm sure a lot of you know that Flappy Bird was taken off the Google Play and Apple App Store uh, simply because it was causing a lot of controversy and the creator I think it's Nei Jung uh, Dong uh, he was receiving all sorts of death threats and unsavory activity so they decided it was best to remove the game but since the actual uh, banning of the game on Valentine's Day uh, 14th of February um, there's been a variety of what I call the outbreak or the pandemic virus of the Flappy Bird clone and this is basically a range of games that are completely similar uh, so a lot of you may have heard of the actual the outbreak of the iPad clones uh, this is probably works on similar lines of games that are similar uh, to the to this one called Flappy Bird and uh, there are a variety of ones on both on both platforms so if we take a look at the ones on the uh, Android side as you can see there's one called uh, Clumsy Bird I think it is as you can see uh, it's pretty similar to Flappy Bird uh, I have to say uh, you just go in between trees and, and it's, it's a landscape game so it's not like how Flappy Bird used to be a very portrait style game um, but if we take a look at the ones on Apple uh, there's a range of them as well uh, there's one called Swishy Fish. Uh, there's one also called um, Flappy, Bra Flappy Brain, I think it is. So there is a range of them. There's uh, Swishy Fish, as you can see on the Apple iPod. It's another fairly good replica of uh, Flappy Bird. And there's also another one called Flappy Brain, I believe it is. And this is a much more complicated version of Flappy Bird, I personally think. Anyway, uh, you really have to, you know, bash the screen to get the actual, that get that brain going up and up through the air. It's quite a headache. And that's pretty much the, the range, there's a few more, uh, if you take a look, there's a few more of the actual replicas uh, of Flappy Bird. Okay guys, so I thought I'd show you some of the uh, examples of the clones that are available. So the first one I'm going to show you is straight from the Google Play Store, and this is Clumsy Bird. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and start it. So as you can see, you start off in the midair, and you have to fly between uh, tree trunks, similar to the pipes on Flappy Bird. And you just simply fly between the pipes like that. So as you can see, the mechanics that I've mentioned are pretty similar to Flappy Bird, as you can see. So we'll give that one more go. So a pretty good replica, and I definitely said the graphics are even better than the are even better than the round Flappy Birds. So that's a good sign. So let's go and switch over to the Apple side of things. So the next replica I'm going to show you is Flappy Puppy. Uh, so this is pretty much Flappy Puppy. Uh, and then this is available on the uh, Apple I at the Apple App Store. So any further ado, let's go ahead and start it. It's got a funky arcade uh, rhythm to it. So let's go ahead and start. And this time you're flying between brick walls. As you can see, just like Flappy Bird again similar to the uh, clumsy bird uh, clone how a dog will be flying in the air I have no idea but that's pretty much a uh, uh, flappy puppy so let's go ahead and I'll show you the next uh, replica so the next one as I've mentioned is flappy brain uh, this is another one uh, this one's actually quite difficult to be fair I have to admit it's not as simple as the previous two you really have to tap at the screen quite a lot. So let's go ahead and start it. You really have to, you know, tap at the screen. It is quite difficult. As you can see, for some reason the reactions are quite delayed. I don't know why that is, but they are quite delayed. So we're going to go ahead and do that again. As you can see, again, yeah, see, this is a pretty difficult one. Not my favorite, but hey, hey, presto, it's there, so... That's another replica, and I'll go ahead and show you the final one. Uh, my personal favorite, the, probably the best replica out of all of them, is Splashy Fish. So we'll just wait for that to load up, and here we are, Splashy Fish. And this has probably got this uh, pretty much the exact same principles as Flappy Bird. In fact, it's slightly easier to play, I have to admit. And you just fly in between, looks like um, I think they're golden pillars or whatever you'll find under the sea. As you can see, you simply just fly between the pillars, like so. And this is pretty much as simple as that. So these are the most top-rated clones uh, of Flappy Bird. 
And yeah, this is a, this is pretty much a tough one you're gonna find. The best clones out there, if you really wanna get back into the, the actual mechanics behind Flappy Bird, or you really wanna just get back into the whole saga of Flappy Bird, then these replicas or clones are available from uh, Google Play, and they're also available from the Apple App Store. So that's pretty much the demo, and I'll see you in the next part. So if you really wanna put yourself through the headache of flying through uh, very small spaces, uh, feel free. Uh, so anyway guys, this has been Boost HD here. Thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.